hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video i will show you the minimum depth of the foundation for a residential building okay so many students were asking me uh, i have to build a house then how much depth we should uh, put the foundation in a residential building so this video is for you okay so before calculation of the depth of the foundation uh, we have to uh, know some basic things okay so here i have summarized the things to remember okay so first uh, point is as per is code 1018-1982 the minimum depth of foundation should not be less than 50 centimeter from the ground level okay guys if this is a ground level then its depth depth should not be less than how much 50 centimeter but this 50 centimeter uh, cannot be used for residential building okay it can be used for the uh, compound wall uh, or general wall etc okay now point number two is the minimum depth of foundation generally kept is around five feet or uh, uh, for a small residential building if your building is of about one story to uh, three story then you can easily put this five feet okay the minimum depth of foundation can be put five feet but in next page i will tell you that uh, how to calculate the actual depth of foundation okay the point number three is the depth should be at least 1.50 times the width of the footing okay guys so if the width this width of the footing is uh for example four feet okay then its depth then its depth should be how much 1.5 uh times it's four okay so it will be how much six feet its depth should be how much six feet if it is uh, about uh, eight feet then its depth should be how much 12 feet okay just uh, multiply one by 1.5 to the width of the foundation and we will get the uh, depth of the foundation in general okay it is the thumb rule okay now let us see another point here point number four is the depth of foundation further depends upon the load types of foundation the types of soil different uh, uh, soil has different load bearing capacity okay so further uh, nobody can tell the uh, depth of foundation can be uh, 3 feet or 10 feet or 12 feet etc okay because it uh, depends on the different factor like uh, it depends on the load how much load is acting on this footing uh, the types of foundation this is spread foundation or uh, deep foundation and types of soil okay because soil has different load bearing capacity okay different type of soil has different load bearing capacity so uh, depth of foundation also depend on the uh, types of soil okay now in point number five in case of pile foundation okay guys this is our uh, spread footing uh, these types of footing are generally used in the residential building but pile footing are not generally used in the residential building pile footing foundation are used uh, for a bridge dam reservoir etc okay so if the load on the foundation is 500 kilo newton then depth should be almost 3.5 to 4 meter as a minimum depth okay guys it should be a minimum depth if the load on the foundation is in the range of 2000 kilo newton to 3000 kilo newton then minimum depth of pile foundation should be how much 6 meter to 20 meter okay it also depend on the different uh, load and types of foundation okay this uh, range 6 to 20 meter range depend on the different types of uh, load and different types of soil okay now let us move to our the uh, formula to calculate the uh, depth of the foundation okay so we will use the rankings theory okay uh, this is the generally used uh, formula to calculate the depth of the foundation okay so minimum depth of foundation will be uh, d equals to p by w 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta whole square okay so this is mostly used formula to calculate the depth of the foundation where p is what bearing capacity of the soil w is what uh, density of soil and theta is uh, angle of repose of the soil okay guys so uh, the depth of foundation you can see uh, it depends on the three factor here by the rankings theory okay now let us see the angle of repose for different soil okay for mud it is 0 degree wet clay 15 degree earth wet earth 15 to 17 degree dry earth 20 to 30 degree these are the uh, angle of repose but guys remember that these all values okay bearing capacity of soil density of soil and angle of repose of soil 
all the values are calculated in the laboratory okay with the help of soil test you cannot predict the bearing capacity of soil density of soil or angle of repose of soil directly by watching the soil on the site okay you have to take some amount of soil and we have to take to the uh, laboratory and we have to do soil test to get this value okay so these values uh, these values angle of repose are the general values taken from the different uh, laboratory test okay but uh, it may not be the actual value okay it may not be the actual value of the mud wet earth dry earth okay it may be different 21 degree 19 degree 18 degree etc okay now let us see another uh, load bearing capacity of soil for different soil and uh, these are also the uh, average range of value which is given by different lab tests of the soil okay so loose uh, gravel have 98 fine sand uh, loose and dry is 98 moist clay 147 medium clay 245 etc okay now let us see another here the density of soil okay and these are also the average value okay guys uh, we cannot take directly from clay as a 1600 if the clay is damp then 7 uh, 1760 uh, if the clay is dry loose uh, then to, to we cannot take directly uh, from here okay we should do lab test to get actual value of density angle of repose and uh, bearing capacity of the soil okay now let us move toward our calculation okay let us take an example we have a soil type moist clay okay so moist clay uh, from table for example we have a moist clay and we taken to the lab and we got the value bearing capacity of soil as a 147 kilometer per meter square okay and density of soil we got uh, 1760 kg per meter cube and angle of repose of soil we got how much 15 degree okay you can see in the table for uh, moist clay okay angle of repose of soil wet clay is how much 15 degree okay 15 degree now uh, load bearing capacity of soil for moist clay is how much 147 and uh, density of soil for moist moist clay damp clay is how much 1760 now we will put all the value in the formula okay guys so we have 147 as the bearing capacity of soil density of soil 1760 15 degree as the angle of repose okay now we have to use this formula d equals to p by w 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta whole square okay now put all value p is equals to how much 147 here and w is here 1760 and now put the value of degree 15 degree here 15 degree and after uh, calculating here you can see this value is in kilo newton per meter square and this value is in kg per meter cube okay so you have to convert this into kg per meter square or you have to convert this into kilo newton per meter cube you have to make same uh, unit both okay so i am converting this 147 this 147 to kg per meter square okay to convert kg per uh, meter square first of all i am converting this kilo newton into newton so multiply it with thousand here i have multiply it with thousand okay and now after converting this kilo newton into newton now we have to convert it into kg okay because this value is in kg so i have divided it by 10 okay now after calculating all the values we will get how much depth is equal to 2.89 meter so guys in this way we can calculate the depth of foundation which uh, we should use in the building residential building it depends on the different factor load types of soil and load bearing capacity of soil okay so guys this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you